a woman never belongs to you. It's just your turn. You lost your edge, she lost the traction for you. That's how it works. What'd you think she was gonna do? Tell you she cheated? Men cannot afford to get complacent in relationships. Get your fat ass off the couch, start lifting weights and learn game. You're welcome. And now your man, Donovan Sharp. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 968th edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of toxic masculinity, misogyny, and small dick energy. It is Thursday, June 1st of 2023. It is good to have you in today. I'm joined by my co-host, Chester, who is... I dropped a treat. Wait a minute, is that it? Where did it go, boy? So I dropped the treat. I dropped the treat, and now we're... Uh, 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 uh. Bag it up, buddy. Bag it up. Bag it up. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll find it, buddy. Sorry, guys. Hang on. We gotta find Chester Street. <gasps> there it is. Is that it? Is that it? Ooh, that's it. Yes, it is. All right. Very good. Chester's like, where's more treats? All right. Computer, turn off the overhead light. All right. <laughs> And 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 so and so to business. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna waste too much time, guys. Um, obviously, Andrew Tate um, gave his very first interview, his first real interview, uh, to the BBC, and um, it it was originally on. Uh, I think it's on Rumble, but I'm going to, but I'm going to I'm going to use his video uh, that he posted on his channel uh, because it has subtitles. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. <clears throat> By the way, the reason he did that, the, and I don't know, and, and look, I'm, uh, I'm not a film guy, but I learned this from Savo. The reason they do this is the same reason they do the take one is so they can match up the audio with the video. I had no idea why they did that until I met Sabo. You've agreed to do an interview with the BBC today. Yep. The material is going to be published on television, on radio, online. Perfect. I wonder if she... Did she bring a box of chocolates? No word on the box of chocolates? All right. We are doing an interview with you because you're facing some very serious allegations. Correct. Rape, human trafficking. Yep. And also because there's a great deal of concern about the things you say and the impact that they have on young people or women. I don't think the concerns about the things I say, I think the concern is for the level of influence I have and the reach I have. Ah, there you go. That a lot of the things that are already out there inside of the legacy media and the matrix as a whole are far more damaging than the things I say. Concern about the influence you have being a harmful influence, but let's start with the allegations. Not necessarily a harmful influence. The fact that I have, I am massively influential. Over Did the you s the things I say? The concern about the influence you have being a harmful influence. But ah, do you see how she tried to glaze over that? Do you see how she tried to glaze over it? She said you're a harmful influence, but let's. And Tate doesn't let her get away with it. Watch. Oh, far more damaging than the Watch. I say. The concern about the influence you have being you have being a uh, being a harmful influence and then she tried to move she she tried to move right along but andrew would not let her get away with it watch harmful influence, but let's start with the allegations not necessarily a harmful influence the fact that i have i'm massively influential over the youth and i understand that but it's my influence as a whole which people are afraid of not necessarily let's start with the allegations have you raped anybody absolutely not have you trafficked anybody absolutely not exploited any women for absolutely money? not but you have admitted using emotional manipulation to get women to work in the web industry for you. Yes, he he does admit to that. But gentlemen, heed my words here. Heed my words here. Emotional manipulation. Emotional manipulation. They're trying to make it sound like he is guilty of some sort of crime. Um. Women emotionally manipulate men every minute of every hour of every day. She's going to sit here and get on Tate for emotionally manipulating girls to get into the webcam business. But what she's not what she's not acknowledging 
which he's not acknowledging, is that he's not forcing anybody to do anything he doesn't want to do, th that they don't want to do. He's not trafficking anybody. He's not e-parring anybody. He's not forcing these women. He's using game, and they call it emotional manipulation. Now, keep in mind, it's just like I said. Women emotionally manipulate men every minute of every hour of every day. You see, men, we pretend to actually like the girl in order to get sex from her. We pretend to like, we actually pretend to be interested in a, in a long-term relationship, so to speak, try to make ourselves look like we're not just looking for a roll in the hay, and but then after she gives up the cheeks, that's when we bounce. That's when we bounce. Well, guess what? Guess what? Women do exactly the same thing. They emotionally manipulate, manipulate men, making men think that they are something that they are not. Women try to make men think that I'm yours and only yours. Then they finesse them. They get food, meals, drinks, trips. So, and again, this is just like I pointed out with the Dine and Dash dater and Simon Livevibe. We have, we have women outwardly admitting, and I don't know what the percentages are, but enough of them have admitted to using Tinder to feed themselves for us to be talking about it right now. Women congratulate each other on their successful their successful finesse opportunities but then when men flip the script it's a crime the dine and dash dater got 120 days in jail how is that how is how is that different from what girls do to guys every day well he manipulated women to get them to pay and then and then he left the restaurant girls don't do the same thing girls don't do the same thing on a higher level OMG, Simon Livive is the worst criminal ever. Are you kidding me? Do you know how many female Tinder swindlers there are out there? You don't think that there are women finessing dudes, making guys think that they're in love with them, making them think they're going to marry them? They get all this money, all, all this money, all these money, all these gifts, and then they ghost them. You don't think that, you don't think that women do that too? Um... The Level Up man just nailed it, says it's only manipulation when it doesn't benefit women. Law number 14 of the 49 Laws of Sharp explicitly states that women, they absolutely hate it when, when a man has a decided advantage on the sexual marketplace. Andrew Tate has a decided advantage in the sexual marketplace. That's why they don't, that, that's why they don't like him. He has women throwing themselves at him. That's why they don't like him. Destiny and ABBA don't like Andrew Tate because they can't figure out for the life of them how a man can attract women on purpose. Unbelievable. Um, shout out to Miami J with the $2 super chat. Says, uh, shout out to Chester from Trigger and Go Heat. Uh, yeah, man, Trigger's a baby daddy. Trigger's a baby daddy, so congratulations to uh, Trigger. Uh, I heard that he was ordered to pay uh, two and a half treats uh, per week as puppy support. No word on if he is going to appeal. Let's continue. Now, firstly, let's, let's begin. At the, let's start at the beginning. I'm facing charges. The one, the first one you mentioned, the rape one's already been thrown out by a judge. There's no evidence. Oh, now that I didn't know. So the rape charge has already been thrown out. Good for him. Secondly, it's very difficult for me to sit here and have a very frank and honest conversation with you while we're in the territory of Romania about a legal case that's going on within Romania. I have to protect myself. I've agreed to do an interview with you, and I want to be as honest with you as possible. But I can't incriminate myself in any way, and I have to be very careful with what I talk about. There are no charges yet. Correct. There the are no charges. There are no charges. And I, and I See, what she's trying to do is she's trying to trick Andrew into incriminating himself. Andrew is already two steps ahead of her. Andrew, already he is already two steps ahead of her. Chester's getting restless. He's already, he's already two steps ahead of this chick. She's trying to get him to incriminate himself. Right? And Andrew smartly says, look, it's an ongoing case. These are ongoing charges. I'm not going to talk about this. I want to be honest, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to compromise my defense. Right? I'm not going to compromise my defense. But then she turns around and says, well, there are no charges yet. I'm sorry. You said he's facing charges but there are no charges yet. So when she wants to jab him with the sword, you're facing charges. 
But then when Tate retracts the ladder from what was clearly a trap, she's like, well, there are no charges yet. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. I've agreed to speak to you, but I have to be as honest and frank as I can while also protecting myself and following my legal counsel. So let's talk about what you've said yourself. <clears throat> you have said on the website for your original website for the Huskins University that you emotionally manipulated women to fall in love with you so that you could get them working in the sex industry for your financial gain. Yeah, sounds about right to me. Sounds about right to me. Women emotionally manipulate men for financial gain all the time. But when Tate does it, it's a crime. As I said, I have to be very careful with what I say, but let's put it this way. No women are coming out against me and accusing me of doing it. Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, no they're, they're not. not. Who? There's testimony from the current investigation. Oh, that's the cute. The investigation, which I cannot discuss, which I know intimately and you don't, I can tell you right now that the, late, the women who are in this case file, there are two American women who have been caught already in their mind. And Bingo. nobody else is accusing me of anything. To begin with, it's very common in cases like this that the alleged victims do Unbelievable. Not see themselves as victims. Look at that. It's very interesting. It's actually extremely interesting because if I was a matrix controlled organization and my goal was to slander somebody and try and destroy their name, you're telling me that they've chosen a crime which one is heinous, of course, because it damages the person's credibility, and two, you're saying that even if everyone else involved, if you have five people and everyone's sitting there saying, no, nobody's hurt anybody. We like Andrew, we've all worked together, or we're friends, etc. That's not what everybody's saying. Um, no. let, let me read you some of the testimony from the current investigation. Can I finish, my, of, can I finish this? One of the witnesses can, said... Can I finish this? You're not answering the can question I I've asked you. You're not answering the question I've I asked am answering the question. You're let saying, me read you the you're, testimony you're saying, of one of the witnesses. You're saying the people who are involved in this, even if they say they're not victims, that they're still going to try and attack me and pretend they are they're victims. treated as victims by the case that's ongoing. Unbelievable. They, and not all of them are saying that. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. I can't imagine that someone as well read and as well educated as this chick doesn't know about the leaked WhatsApp messages. Like, you can't tell me that she doesn't know about these things. See, the BBC, what the BBC is trying to do here is they're trying to get Tate to incriminate himself. That is clearly what's going on. That is clearly what's going on. And Andrew knows it. Yeah, one of the witnesses says. We can't just, we, we can't go into the case. The case is open and active. Well, let's just be clear that not all of the witnesses in the case are behaving in the way you describe. And even those that are, it doesn't bar them from being treated as victims by the prosecution <laughs> by the case. We have an open criminal investigation. I am absolutely not really sure I'll be found innocent. I know the case better than you. I know it intimately and you don't. I have seen all the criminal files and the evidence against me and you haven't. I know the truth of what happened, and you don't. And I'm telling you absolutely not really, I've never hurt anybody, that the case that's been put against me is completely not really fabricated. And I'm never going to be found guilty of anything. And it's very difficult for me to answer your in-depth questions because we're sitting here inside of the territory of Romania. I'm beholden to the Romanian legal system. And I'm not going to incriminate myself because you're trying to prob me. You are Bingo! Thank you! See, Andrew, dude, this is the thing. I think what... I think one of the most underrated attributes of Andrew is how intelligent he is. Like, like this dude is, he's 34, 35. I think he's 35. Like he is ab, like he is razor sharp with this stuff. He clearly saw that she was trying to sharp angle. First, she, first she tried to sharp angle him. Then she tried to say, well, there's not, it's, a, it's, 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 it's an open investigation. There you go, Bubby. Now she wants to say, well, there, there's, now she wants to say there's no charges, right? So conveniently, when Andrew doesn't want to talk about it, well, you know, it's no charges. Unbelievable. Oh, wrong. And we're Andrew is, these people underestimate how smart this dude is. I have to accept that for now and, ask, and, and talk about something else. Let me read you then what you have said about sure. what you have done. Sure. You have said... My job was to meet a girl, go on a few dates, sleep with her, get her to fall in love with me to the point where she'd do anything I say and then get her on webcam so we, we could become rich together. I don't become rich together. I think that's what I personally said. I think that's, that's exactly what no, you said. That's, you that's, 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 no, I've never said that. That's something that you found on the internet. It doesn't mean I've said it. And, and, and again, one 
in your voice. Oh, yeah, now we're coming to the AI situation. Now we're coming to the AI situation. You see, every single let's go every single time she tries to sharp angle him, Andrew hits her with the truth. Then she moves the goalpost. Andrew cuts her off with the pass again. Then she, then there's the nuclear option. In your voice. Did anybody else listen to that ridiculousness on, on the Fresh and Fit podcast? I was there. I was there. I remember. When they played, when they played that audio, it was so obvious. It was so obviously AI. It was ridiculous. But she's using these fake statements by Andrew Tate and trying to pass it off as fact. Once again, if any female on the planet has a problem with me, I strongly recommend her to go to the police and try and pursue me for criminal charges. It's actually very interesting that me, one of the most famous people in the world, who's been vilified by the legacy media and posted all over the internet, while everyone has attacked me from every single angle, while federal agencies from multiple countries have called over 2,000 women who know me, we stand here with zero new accusations since my arrest. Zero. If you Thank took you. any famous person, any man of substantial wealth, and you called 2,000 women who knew him, they'd find an ex-girlfriend is upset, somebody who wants money who's upset. They called 2,000 people who knew me and could not find a single woman to make a new complaint. The only, com the only complaints they have against me are the initial complaints, which we can prove are lies, and that's where it stands. So I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and allow you to pretend that I'm some kind of evil predator. When actually, I'd argue the fact, I'd argue the fact that people who've been investigated to the level I've been investigated to, if you take the average man on the street and investigate his entire life for 14 months, call everyone who's ever known him, You'll sir, and vilify him in the media, and encourage people to come forward for money, wow. and you try to contact every ex girlfriend that's ever had. Would, would come forward and accuse those people of rape and accuse those. I people think that you would have a lot more. I think you would have a lot more flack than I've got. I'm actually such a nice person that the I've BBC never had anyone spoken come to somebody since your arrest who says exactly those things. That with you, it's all manipulation. There's an ulterior. Is this Sophie? Everything Is this Sophie? Done. Oh, Sophie, the, the, the fake name, no face. No I was one, so the story that was wanting invented. to please him and wanting him to be happy. This is I was bullshit. Just kind of, yeah, okay, do whatever you want. And what is she accused? Has she accused me of a crime? This imaginary Sophie? She's making the point that there is. Has she accused me of a crime? Emotional Thank you. Or psychological manipulation. I've asked you a question. And Listen, emotional and psychological manip manipulation is not a crime, and the reason it's the reason we know it's not a crime is because the prisons aren't filled up with women. Guys, again, women routinely on every level emotionally and psychologically manipulate men sometimes without even thinking about it this woman is sitting here trying to trying to vilify emotional manipulation or game she thinks just like destiny and abba she thinks to herself there's no way i don't care how rich you are there's no way that this man could have all these women throwing themselves at them there's no way he's on boats in Bugattis and in, in in on yachts, there's no way he could have attained this lifestyle and have this and have this many women admire him without him having committed some sort of a crime. But the truth is, is he has not committed any crimes, nor will he ever. Emotional, even if they want to call it emotional manipulation, guys, it doesn't matter. It's not illegal. Psychological manipulation is not illegal. What if we tried to? What if we? What if some? What if some rich guy got finessed? by some Instagram hoe, right? He goes to the press, like Celia uh, Fieldjoy with Simon Livive. He goes to the press and says, oh yeah, 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 Anna manipulated me. She was supposed to be this Russian, you know, she was this, she was this buxom Russian bride. She said she wanted to marry me. I sent her gifts, um, I sent her gifts. I, I, I paid for her family's bills. I did this, I did that. And then she ghosted me. Come to find out, she's done this to five other men. Do you know what the media is going to say? They're going to say, well, you should have known better. You should have known better. Well, what do you, I mean, what she did, okay, might be reprehensible, but it's not against the law, right? When men, I'm telling you, when men figure out, when men figure out how to leverage their position over women, that's when they want to say crimes are committed. Because women do this again on the regular, but when men do it, it's a problem. It's the same thing. And I've allowed you into my house. I'm asking you a question. Correct, but you're not the boss here. Because I've allowed you into my house. I'm asking you the question. Correctly, and I'm telling you. You get to decide the answers. No, we're equal here. I've allowed you into my house. You don't come here with a position of authority. 
I'm doing you the favor as legacy media, giving you relevance by speaking to you, and I'm telling you now, this Sophie, which the BBC has invented, which there's no face of, nobody knows who she is. The and BBC did not invent Of course that. not, And she, because you never invent anything. And she has not filed, she's not filed criminal charges against me. What are we talking about here? Thank you. What is she saying? talking about emotional manipulation has she the sex industry for your financial a gain. Absolute garbage. She has not filed criminal, this person, if they exist, has not filed criminal charges against me. I welcome anybody who believes I've harmed them, male or female, any point in the past to file criminal charges against me, I'll fight them. I know who I am, I know what I've done, and I know the truth, and I know that I'll be found innocent of this attack. The reason I'm being attacked is because of my massive influence, not because I've ever hurt anybody. And for you to sit here and say that everybody around you is saying you're innocent, but that doesn't matter because the state will say they're victims. And That's crazy. Grab everybody you know and call everybody victims, even if they say they're not, and try and put you in jail. You are describing a matrix attack. You're not Thank describing you. human trafficking. I'm describing women who are going to court to accuse you of raping human trafficking. Who are these we women? Will women go, me, we will see what women go to court can at the I end finish, of this please? trial. We'll see which women go can to I court. Can I finish, please? We'll see which women go to court. I'm describing women who are going to court to accuse you of raping human trafficking. Sophie hasn't gone to court. Sophie doesn't exist. And I'm describing women who have spoken to the BBC at length oh, and good. other media ex organizations about what they say is emotional manipulation and coercion. And I'm quoting back to you. Again, emotional, no, 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 no. Emotional manipulation is not coercion. No, 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 no. It is not coercion. Let's look up the definition of coercion. Ah, there we go. I love it. Emotional manipulation. Coercion. Oops, didn't mean to do that. The practice of persuading someone to do something by for by using force or threats. Our problem cannot be solved by any form of coercion, but only by agreement. What do you see on that screen? It says coercion. In order to coerce someone, you need to use force or threats. Andrew Tate did not force any. He didn't force anybody. He didn't threaten anybody. They're grasping at straws here. Uh, Dr. Durden with the $10 super chat. Appreciate that very much. Oh, you want to get down? All right. There you go, bubs. All right. <clears throat> says, when a man gets what he wants and a woman doesn't, it's manipulation. But when a woman gets what she wants and the man doesn't, she, she got what she deserved and it's his fault. He should have been better. Yep. Every time. Every time. Uh, shout out to Dr. Durden, newest <laughs> member of Chat Privileges. At Dr. Durden to welcome him to the TSR family. Uh, if you would, uh, put your age and location uh, location in the chat, as is customary of every first member. I uh, I, I request uh, everyone to put your age and location in the chat. Let's continue. Coercion. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Your own words where you describe They're not my words. Coercion. The words, you found, the words you found on the internet. And Sophie doesn't exist. On your so let's website, move on to the next subject. In your voice. Move on to the next subject. No, I think I'll stick on this one for a minute. No, because no, I think I'll stick on this one for a minute. Well, then I think I'll see you out. There's other places in that same website where you say you get girls to fall in love with you and they do it because they love you, because they want to do what you say. And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I, I don't understand. I don't understand why it's a crime for a man to get a woman to do what he says. But when a woman gets a man to do what he says, that's the culture. Convincing women to take part in some kind of business arrangement doesn't work long term because they're emotional. You've got to get them to fall in love with you. That's exactly right. Because a woman is not going to get into sex work with you unless she loves you. That's okay. coercion. That's emotional manipulation. That's that is not coercion and it's not abuse. It's abuse. What you found are clips from the internet some text from the internet, and you're going to sit here and tell me that that's the reason I should be Your working. website, your words. It's not my website. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Check my website. Next. It's the website you've taken down, and I wonder why those comments have been taken no down. Website, no website's been taken down. My website is the same. It's been the same for a very long time. The comments on this website, on the original website, have been... Yeah, you can tell. She's just making shit up. ...taken down, and I wonder why. You are accusing me. I'm guessing what you're trying to say is you're accusing me and you're trying to say that I'm guilty of the things I'm accused of and I'm emotionally manipulating people. 
I'm saying that you have said you emotionally manipulated people here for your own financial gain. And I'm telling you I'm not. No, absolutely not. And I'm asking you about that. Absolutely not is the answer. I look forward to the end of this trial. I look forward to clearing my name. I look forward to the BBC and the legacy media having to say not guilty and having to tell the truth. As I've said before, the only other person who's been found despite absolute rigorous, destructive levels of investigation and prodding into my life is yep. this imaginary Sophie by the BBC who doesn't exist. And if you were to find any single other man on earth and try and analyze his life forensically to the level they've done mine, you would find genuine damage to people. I don't hurt people. It's not just thousands of women have come out in my defense. Thousands of women have come out in my defense, and you've not mentioned that. Thousands of women come out in my defense. Because the problem is when women accuse you of serious crimes. Okay. And emotional manipulation. Well, let's agree that That's thousands of women. Uh, let's agree that it's thousands. It's not a problem that some people say you haven't done it. It's a problem that some people say you have. Thousands of women come out in my defense, and as we stand right now, we have an open criminal investigation. People who are involved in the criminal investigation are saying we're not victims of anything. Andrew's fine, he's never hurt us. You're saying no, I have the opposite to that. I have to counter that. I have someone called Sophie with no face, a fake name. Yeah, if, if, if there were all these people that are going to accuse him, then why haven't they been reported yet? Why haven't we found them? We've invented, and she's not accusing you of anything criminal. So I don't see the whole point you you're trying to make You say you manipulate women, they say you manipulate women. Why wouldn't people think you do? I'm not here, do you think I'm manipulating you? I'm asking you about the testimony you've given. And we can't and talk and we can't talk about the case. This woman thinks Andrew is stupid. She dude, she keeps trying to sharp angle him. It's ridiculous. No, you're, you, you've printed something off that you found on Reddit and you're going to sit here and say that that makes me a bad person. I'm saying that you should know better as a journalist and, and do some proper journalism. Let's investigate. Dr. Durden says there are literal step-by-step -step videos on YouTube about how to finesse a man out of foodie dates and money, but you'll never see the BBC outraged about it. Of course not. Of course not. Because as long as women gain at the expense of men, no one will ever have a problem with it. But if a man gains something at the expense of a woman, that's the problem. I hate the fact that I thousands... think you should answer my question. I, I am. I already have, and we should move on. She's just trying to start arguing. It's not only about the criminal allegations. It's a, a much bigger issue. You've got children's organizations in the UK, you've got rape organizations in the UK, you've got the police naming you by name as someone who has a harmful influence on children. Oh, so the police are now saying that he has a harmful influence on children and on women. Children and on women in the UK and elsewhere because of the things you say, because of the way you present gender relations, the way you say men should treat women. That's very upsetting. And the reason that's very upsetting is because I know that's not true. I'm genuinely a good person. I believe my impact on the world is positive. In fact, if you were to read the comment section of nearly any video I post, especially by the legacy media, 95% of the population agree with me. Thank Most you. people know that the things I say are positive. Legacy media as a whole has lost all its credibility in the last three or four years. Nobody believes it. And it's a shame. It's a massive shame that the BBC come here and try and push and purport this idea that I'm a dangerous person. I'm, I'm anti. I'm, I'm anti-drugs. So I've never pu pushed drugs or any... Uh, I'm anti-drugs, I'm anti-violence. The UK is facing a knife crime epidemic and they're well, going to sit here and say, they're going to sit here and say that I'm the most dangerous man in the UK. You have said you're the most dangerous man in the world. Oh, said dude. said I'm the most dangerous man in the world. You've also said that... A yeah, he said he's the most dangerous man in the world, but come on. See, now she's taking... See, now she's being, dis now she's being uh, disingenuous. Mike, dude, Mike Tyson called himself the baddest man on the planet. Okay. Doesn't make him a criminal. Woman's intimate because wait a minute i've said i'm the most dangerous man in the world you've also said that a woman's intimate parts belong to her male partner i'm glad you find that funny i find it funny that you're sitting here saying that i've said i'm the most dangerous man in the world and you and you believe that's when did i say that i'm asking if you believe it no you said you said you said you're the most dangerous man in the world is that she is talking she is talking about that that fake recording that AI digital voice they did of him. I'm the most dangerous man in the world. That's some kind of proof that I'm dangerous? Am I Dr. Evil now? I'm telling you that it's very upsetting. I don't know, he kind of did look like Dr. Evil when he took all of his hair off. That you're gonna sit here and that certain organizations in the world are gonna try and pretend that I'm the biggest force of evil on earth when I'm genuinely I'm a force for good. I'm genuinely a force Not for good. And the, and the reason they're doing this is because of the massive influence I have over the youth. And they don't like that I'm telling the youth 
to think outside of the matrix and ignore things like the BBC, which come here with loaded questions and false narratives and try and paint innocent people as, as, as guilty. You said Dude. women's intimate parts belong to their male parts. I said that if a woman marries a man, she takes his last name and traditionally the man gives her away. I've been pushing traditional religious beliefs, because I'm a religious man, and traditional beliefs in regards to marriage, which everybody accepted 10 to 15 years ago. So what, that's not, what that's not, that? that's not a crazy conspiracy theory. If you're going to sit here and say that me believing a woman should take a man's last name in marriage makes me the most dangerous man in the world, then you're just going to lose even more credibility than the BBC's already lost in the last four to five years. If that's your point, if that's your narrative. Nice move by Tate. She fucked around and, and she fucked around and she brought in the part about the last name. She brought the part in about the last name and Tate seized on that. Tate seized on that. And now he and now he's what dude, now he's kicking her ass all over the compound because you also you want to say push. that Good men luck. should be able to sleep with a lot of women outside marriage. That doesn't sound very religious or that's, very that's not what I said they should be able to. I said a lot of high value men, a lot of rich men do it. And then Thank we you. discussed at length on podcasts why rich men do it. And we also discussed why women decide to be unfaithful. It's not a gendered argument. We discussed unfaithfulness as a whole. What are the reasons and motivations for men, and what are the reasons and motivations for women? Because you have no time to actually, you say because you have no time to actually watch my content, because you have no time to actually watch my content Good. at length and understand what I'm saying, you just come here with a small snippet which we provided I'm to you on a piece of paper. Three times doesn't make it true. No, completely. You don't have a clue what, what I say or what I talk about. You never watch my content. You have small you pieces of paper, small clips on a piece of paper, and you're trying to pretend I've said evil things. And then you're going to say I'm the most dangerous man in the world, which is truly laughable. You said that, not me. Okay. Do you believe I'm the most dangerous man in the world, Lucy? I'm not answering your questions. Well then, we, well, then we need to change the dynamic of this interview because, and I'll make this clear, I allowed you into my home. I'm, I'm doing you a favor. Giving Thank you. I'm giving to the public. Thank you. Exactly. Exactly. She really, really needs to lay off here. Like, if she were, dude, if she were smart, if she were smart, she would, she would really try to gain favor with Tate, but she can't do that because she's tied to the BBC. You don't come here with a position of authority. You're not the police. I don't respect the BBC. I don't know you. You do not come here with a position of authority over me. We are equals. We are people. We're citizens of the world. And we sit here as equals. And I see you as my equal. And if you ask me questions, I can ask you questions back. For you to come here and sit down and pretend you're the Gestapo and that you don't have to answer Woo! any questions is, wow. is disingenuous it's because I don't owe you anything. Asking questions. Wow. Oh, and now, see, now they're making this. Oh, this is good. And you answer. But I don't owe no, However you want. This is a conversation. And I don't owe you any degree of authority over me. So let's make that clear. And that doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman or from the BBC or the CNN. I'm here you to answer your said. questions and be honest with you and do you a favor. Great. But And I'm doing you a favor. But you come here with loaded questions. You're trying to paint a narrative of me which is negative. I'm asking you and about that's things fine. you said that people are concerned about. And that's fine. You but you're not going to sit here and say you don't answer my questions because you're not above me. Oh! Oh! No! Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Hold up. You don't answer my questions because you're not above me. This is also not supposed to be a perfect race, but Absolutely. Well, it, it would help if you answered the question. I've answered every question so far. Let me ask you another question. Sure. You have said that a woman's intimate parts belong to her male partner, and if she goes on OnlyFans, he is entitled to a cut of her income. You. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that sounds about right to me. I will go on record as saying that. <laughs> are extremely it's actually very it's very hang on you are extremely it's actually very it's very conf confusing to me why you're going to sit here take long format podcasts i've done which are three or four hours long in context where i've sat with only fans girls 10 or 15 only fans girls where yep. we've been joking back and forth ignore every comment and satirical comment and sarcastic thank comment you emails and then come along and say you said this and that and you're the most evil man in the world I don't know if you understand what sarcasm is. I, I don't know if you understand what sarcasm is. I don't know if you understand what context is. I don't know if you understand what sa satirical content. Con so you're saying it's sarcastic. I'm saying it was a very interesting talk show. There you go. You don't give in. That is my true core beliefs, and that makes me is a bad it? person. Is disingenuous. Is it? Of course not. Was it sarcasm? Absolutely. You should watch the show. You were being sarcastic you should, when you said. Let me you just should, clarify. You okay? should watch the show. Let me clarify for the audience. You were being sarcastic. See, all she wanted to do was to get him to admit, yes, I said this. And she can't do it. Dude, good. Make her work for these answers, Tate. When you said a woman's intimate parts belong to her male partner. No. You didn't believe that. No, it's not that. It's that you haven't watched the show at length. 
And you should have, because the woman was saying, my man's car belongs to me because he's my man. And she was on OnlyFans. And then 20 minutes later, when she said she was on OnlyFans, I said, ah, well, you're selling your body. That belongs to him because he's your man. And she laughed. She you laughed. She laughed. And she said, ha, 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 yeah, that's probably true. If you, you watch the show, if you watch the show, it will wow. make sense. For you to come here with doing no research. See, this is literally, this is literally taken out of, con like, this is, that is, that is the literal definition of taking something completely out of context completely out of context even zuer says this woman did not come prepared she did come prepared but here's the problem the reason why she's getting her ass kicked in this interview is because the truth is on andrew's side kevin and i used to have these conversations all the time why are we always able to win these arguments why is it that when we debate somebody why is it that we, when we go back and forth with somebody why are we undefeated and kevin was like dude the truth is on our side he told me you could, you could be the best debater in the world but if the truth isn't on your side, people are going to see that you're grasping at straws. This woman, this woman came as prepared as she could. She came with an agenda. But how can you, you can't, how can, how can I put this? You can only, you can only, you can only be so prepared when you don't have the truth. If you don't have the truth, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do. Everything she is doing, like she's doing almost like a propaganda type interview. She's throwing in a little bit of truth with a little bit of, with, with a little more embellishment covered in lies. And because there's a little bit of truth in there, people tend to believe those lies. At all. And then say, I don't understand what I'm talking about, but I've got this piece of paper with a few things printed off. That's why you're saying the silly things you're saying. You should watch the show, do some research. Do you believe it? Already answered I've already answered the question. Not really. He said of no. He just said no. Intimate parts belong to her male. Of course not. I've just answered the question. You just answered that. Yeah, we've done that three times. And 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 does this woman believe that her man's car belongs to her? We it's it's not a gendered argument. I really And of, of course not. Of course not. Of course she doesn't believe that 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 her man's car belongs to her. I don't know, it might be a little bit different for certain women. I think that it's genuinely sad. Uh Miami J says he's doing great. We've come a long way since Roosh on Dr. Phil. Good God, you are right about that. Yeah, Rolo kicked Dr. Phil's ass uh, all up and down his show. Uh, Ron Saluki with the 1,000 yen, I suppose. I don't know what that is. I'm an idiot. So she's focused on clips and shorts versus watching the full content. Yeah, and King Life says, yeah, that's how they do it. They take clips and shorts because they can easily take everything out of context, uh, out of context and spin whatever narrative they want to. That's just how it goes. That when the BBC has a chance to finally interview me at the end of all this matrix of that, that they don't come here with any kind of genuine openness to try and understand my influence over the world or the things I push or what I'm trying to teach the world or why I'm a good influence on the world because I am a massively good influence. Instead, they come here with pieces of paper with printed out excerpts from five-year-old podcasts taken out of context to attempt the same, to attempt the same matrix attack on me which Woo! attempted endlessly Every single person in legacy media has already tried this, and it doesn't work. You, I really encourage you. I encourage you to read the comment section on the on YouTube when this goes on YouTube, and you will see that nobody believes a word you're saying. Thank you. What I'm asking you about these comments is because we've got the chief executive of Rape Crisis, named oh you my individually, God. as spreading a dangerous ideology of misogynistic rape. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> it's the comments you make that are leading people to say things. What comments? Like Absolute this. garbage. National organization. Oh, it's the it's the things you are saying that are causing people to say things about you. Sweetheart, that's an opinion. That's that's an opinion. That's what she's talking about. Just because a bunch of people pretend to agree that something is true doesn't make it true. Who are saying that are blaming you for increasing levels of misogyny? Schools that are saying they are having increased incidents of girls being attacked. Oh my God! If that dude, this is funny. This is funny. I can't control what people do. Okay, bitches all the time say you can't control me. You just want a woman you can control. Blah 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 blah. Right. That's all they talk about. 
Control, control, control. Then Lisa Fay wants to call up my show. Well, what if somebody goes out and does something bad and said, I did it because Donovan told me to? That's when I had to cut that call. As influencers, we don't control. We don't control what people do. It's the same way Kevin Ray Wilder and Alex from Playing With Fire tried to sharp angle me. What if XYZ, you know, person goes out and does XYZ because of your because of your influence? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. If that were the case, then nobody who ever committed crimes would ever be prosecuted because then they would be able to say, well, this influencer influenced me to do it. It's ridiculous. That was true. Cute, if that was of you and your teaching, well, that's, that abs that's absolute garbage. I have never, ever encouraged a student to attack a teacher, male or female, ever. I preach hard Thank work you. discipline. I'm an athlete. I preach anti-drug. I preach religion. I preach no alcohol. I preach uh, no knife crime. Every single problem with modern society, I'm against. But I'm teaching young men. I'm teaching young men to be disciplined, to be diligent, to Thank listen, you. to train, to work hard, to be exactly like me, with no criminal record, never even yet charged in this 14-month matrix investigation. And I'm saying that if men grew up like me, which are hardworking and diligent, and it's emotional control and stoic, we're going to have a better society, not a worse society. To sit here and say that schools in England, England, which is a failing nation, which has knife crime going through the roof, violence going through the roof, men's mental health going through the roof, and they're going to all blame me because I appeared on the internet you one year ago, is success. disingenuous. It's disingenuous. You and also, an also, of financial it's success correct. with a Bugatti and a cigar, but it comes with a side order of misogyny. How does having a Bugatti and a cigar come with misogyny? Thank you. That's exactly the question I'm asking. A Bugatti and a cigar is misogyny. Guys, this is the envy. This is the envy, man. This is the envy. She's pissed off that this dude smokes a cigar in his Bugatti. Now, she's a woman. She has different, clearly, I don't know. I don't know that a woman would ever fantasize about smoking a cigar in a, in a, in a Bugatti. But anything that is inherently masculine, they see it as, as, they see it as misogynistic, right? Four-time kickboxing champion, world-renowned womanizer, Three, worth $350 million. He owns a yacht. He's been on super yachts. Those aren't... any Anything that makes men happy, anything that gives men a sense of accomplishment or satisfaction that does not directly benefit women, that's misogyny. That's misogyny. Anything that men do, anything that men do that benefits men but not women... That's misogyny. That's misogyny. And interestingly enough, men becoming more masculine, more stoic, is good for women. But women are too fucking dumb to realize what the hell is going on. Anything that men do that makes themselves happy and and keeps women out, that's what they call misogynistic. Because it's all mixed together in what you teach. You teach that a woman, if a woman comes home and accuses you of cheating, you should hit her with a machete Shove is that what I, is that what I teach? That's what you say. No, if you ask what in the what on God's green earth is this woman talking about? If she cheated on, if 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 she accused you of cheating, hit her with a machete. What? Yeah, uh, Mike the Supreme says, God forbid a man enjoys the fruits of his labor, right? Actually, watch the clip. It will be about the woman attacking me with a machete. As usual, you've not watched the video, taken out of context, flipped it, and attempted it to attack. Unbelievable. He got her. He got her. This, you know what? You know what, Ibn Zur? I stand corrected. I stand corrected. She did not come prepared. She did not come prepared at all. This is so funny. This is so funny. She's all, you're right, she is all flustered. And now she's really grasping at straws. She said, oh, there, there was a machete comment in here somewhere. There's a, there's a machete comment in here somewhere. And she fucked it up. It wasn't about the man using the machete, it was about a girl using a machete on him. Dumbass. It's all mixed together in what you teach. You teach Watch. a woman, if a woman comes home and accuses you of cheating, you should hit her with a machete, shove her off. Is that, what I, is that what I teach? That's what you say. No, if you actually watch the clip, so it will be about the woman attacking me with a machete. As usual, you've not watched the video, oh, taken out of yeah. context, flipped it, and attempted to attack me with a small excerpt. Let me tell you something, Lucy. I'm sure you're a very nice person. 
I'm sure you're a fantastic person, but if I were to take everything you've ever said online and just take small excerpts out of context, I could make you look like a misogynist. I guarantee it. In fact, no, I, might, no, I might actually do that. And then you're going to sit here and say, oh shit, I'm a misogynist because my clips have been taken out of context. If you refuse to watch anything at length and understand it, the then that's what's going to happen. The National Police Chiefs lead for violence against women, the NSPCC, rape crisis, safer schools, they are all naming you as being behind an epidemic of misogyny. <laughs> the idea that I made primary school children misogynistic because I own a nice car. <laughs> Is that, is, that your, is that your argument? It's the misogyny that comes along with it. Oh, owning a nice car is misogynist. No, it's the Got misogyny it. that comes along with it. How does misogyny come along with owning a nice car? This is because in... Because you, you have an image of financial... I'm glad you're answering my question. An image of finance. So a man with a nice car who appears to be doing well for himself, that's misogyny? Do you guys see? Uh, guys, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. <clears throat> the new definition of misogyny... The new definition of misogyny is men improving themselves and enjoying their lives and not worried about women. Men men improving themselves and enjoying their lives. Oh, sorry, Chester. Anytime a man does anything for himself, anytime a man does anything for himself, self-improvement, whatever the case may be, and it doesn't benefit women, that's misogyny. That's misogyny. If a dude, if, 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 if a man, if a man posts a picture of himself on a yacht and there's no, and, and there's women on the boat, misogyny. If a man is smoking cigars, driving his Bugatti, that's misogyny. If a man is wearing an AP watch on a super yacht with a bitch on both arms, that's misogyny. Right? Anytime men improve themselves and live their lives and enjoy their lives without benefiting women, that's misogyny as far as they're concerned. Now. We finally got the you have right. an image of financial an success. Question, Excuse me. You have an image of financial success, but it comes along with attitudes towards women that are really problematic. My attitudes towards women is that women should be protected and provided for, and I've said Thank that. You. Thank you. I said that over Thank 50 you. times online. You never mention it. I say that my girlfriend doesn't have to work unless she wants to. I take care of her. I die to protect the woman. I've talked Dude. about how I've stood up and faced a knife to protect a woman. And, and in return, you want authority over her in the way you have over a child or a dog. Absolutely say. not. I've said that women oh, should be protected great. and provided for. And in I return, you want authority over her because if you oh in re oh in return you want authority over her. If I am charged, if I am charged with the task of completely providing for a woman, provide, provision, protect, then I need a level of authority over her because if she's not going to listen to what I say. If she if she's not going to listen to what I say, if she's not going to heed my my requirements, my warnings, etc., then why do I need to protect and provision and and provide for somebody who doesn't listen to me? Right? See, this again, this is inverse projection. You see, when women have authority over people, they're complete bitches. They're absolutely insufferable. Women when women ha when women have power over other people, this is men or women. They're complete bitches. They don't know how to handle power. They don't know how to lead. All they know how to do is be bossy and tell people what to do. And so women with this inverse with this inverse projection, they know what they would do if they had authority over a man. So they assume that a man would do the same thing she would if they had authority over her. Oops. You have responsibility for someone like a child or a dog, you say. You have authority over them. If you want to go down this argument, we'll go down this nuanced argument. I said that if I have responsibility for... Thank safety, you. I, should have I need a... I need a degree of authority. A degree of authority over her safety. Meaning, meaning, and let me explain my point. If I'm the one who has to fight and die to protect her, I'm the one who decides how we walk home. I'm the one God who decides right. the route we take. That's right. Because it's unfair for her to say, I want to walk through the most dangerous neighborhood in the world, but you have to face the knives. That's what I've said. And then you're going to sit here and pretend that I'm trying to treat women like dogs, which is garbage. Every single man, every single man in the world who loves this woman understands that he has to protect her. Yes. Every single woman in the world the likes the child. idea of a woman, of a man who would protect her. If you were to say to most women home right now, do you want your husband to protect you in a violent attack? They'd say, yeah, of course. Of course they what would. What I've said is misogynistic. If you said to most women, would you want to lose authority in the relationship, to not be treated as a free and legal equal? I didn't. He did not say that. He said a degree over authority. He said a degree of authority. 
which directly correlates with safety. We're not, when we talk about, and see, that's the degree of authority. He didn't say, I, have ab, I need absolute authority. She's her own person. She can do whatever the hell she wants to do. Actions have consequences and all the rest of that. But the degree of authority he's talking about is, yeah, I'm going to choose the route we take home. I'm going to choose what flight we take. I'm going to decide what part of the city we are going to stay in. That's my, my look, I have to keep her safe. So I need a degree of authority over her. This is insane. Say that. I, I said I need to have authority over the when route we you, walk home. When you compare women and the authority over women that you believe you should have to having authority over a child or a dog, it's not the same because a woman is a free legal adult. Correct. You're equal. Free legal adult, my equal. But if I had a girlfriend and we were walking home late at night, and I said, let's not walk down that area. It's a bad area. I have to protect you. Everything happens. I want to take the long way. And she said, no, I will. I have to walk this way, even though it's the most dangerous route. I must. Then what? And then I would say, you're welcome to. You could do it. You're a free and legal equal. But I'm not going to walk with you and protect you. I think that I should be able to decide the route because I have an obligation. There you go. Women, women writing checks with their mouths that their bodies can't cash. What Tate is describing is the unruly bitch. We've seen unruly bitches. Who who have get who who have gotten their boyfriend's asses kicked, right? We see a girl talking talking trash to a dude twice her size. Twice her size. She pushes him, and because the boyfriend is nearby, he gets knocked out because he knows he can't hit her. Otherwise he's going to prison forever. Right? That is the equivalent of a girl saying, you know what? Let's walk down let's walk down this is shorter, it's more dangerous. Let's walk down this way. Because I know I'm not gonna have to I know that I'm not going to have to defend myself. I know my man's going to jump in for me. This is the this is exactly the authority that men who are in these predicaments don't have. They don't. They don't have it. Men who get men who get their asses kicked because they got a mouthy bitch have no authority over their woman. Uh Derek the Trader with the $5 super chat says, guys, check the many comments on videos from Andrew Tate. Many men were lost and considered self-deletion until they saw his comment content. This is a fact. Yes, it is. Iman, uh, Iman G with the $5 Super Chat says, this is literally Pierce Morgan all over again. Same questions. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And my obligation as a man is to protect and provide for females. Everything I'm talking about is, gen is traditional gender roles, which 10 years ago, less than 10 years ago, would not be considered outlandish, would not be considered crazy, would not be considered dangerous or misogynistic. The world has changed, and a lot of people haven't changed with the world. Please understand there's a lot of women at home watching this right now who like the idea of their man sticking up for them, protecting them, protecting them, and providing for them. And just because the world has gone crazy and the legacy media has gone crazy, most people at home are still relatively sane. There and these are the people who are going to write on the comments that Andrew isn't saying there's anything that's outlandish. It's a, it's the whole world believes these things. I don't know why you're listening to this. I don't know why you're listening to this. I told you. Yeah. Same as why I told you. They come in and they smile and shake their hands and then they read one on the online excerpts from Black Oh, look at this. this. It's, a, it's the whole world believes these things. I don't know why you're listening to this. I don't know why you're listening to this. I told you. Yeah. Same as why I told you. They come in and they smile and shake their hands and then they read one on the online excerpts from Black Rock. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'm having a nice conversation with you, so I'm enjoying it. So it's no problem. It's been fun so far. It's fine. We're Hold good? on, Chester. Yes. Tell me when. Do you want a clap again? Yes, I am. No, no. We didn't stop, no. no, no. I can do the clap. Now we're good? No, no, no. Thank fine. you. Thanks. If a man broke into your house, wouldn't you, want your, wouldn't you want your husband to protect you? There's a difference between conservative values and emotional control, coercive control. We're talking about protections. And I'm saying if someone broke into your house, wouldn't you want your husband to protect you? It's not about conservative values or protection. Yeah, that little, that little break. <laughs> that little break. So, so to make a sports reference here, to make a sports reference here, Andrew Tate and this Lucy chick, they're two basketball teams, right? They're going back and forth, back and forth. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Team Tate hits a three. They then steal the inbound. 
dunk. They run the full court press, get another steal, kick it to the outside, drains another three. Team Lucy goes down. They try to shoot a three because they're panicking, bricks it off. Team Tate rebounds it, up ahead, stop and pop three. What happens when, what do you think Team Lucy's coach is going to do? They're going to call a timeout. They're going to call a timeout. We're getting our ass kicked. We need to slow this momentum. We need to call a timeout. We got to stop the momentum. Teams do this all the time. They do this all the time. They call a timeout to stop the bleeding. Lucy is, dude, Lucy is getting her ass completely kicked. Monica Ray nailed it. They needed a timeout. Yep, they needed a timeout. They're like, whoa, 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 hey, whoa, wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. Tate is, Team Tate is seven for their last eight. We got to stop this thing. Let's get a, let's, let, let, let's get a, let's get a 20 second, a 30 second timeout. It's what you're demanding in return for that. Well, I'll give you this. I don't know who your husband is. I don't know if he would stand up and protect you or die for you, but I'll give you this. If someone broke into this house right now and was a homicidal maniac, I would expect me and the other men in this room to stand up and face them while you and the, you and the other women in this room could protect yourselves. I would actually believe the men should go and engage the attack. Yes. I that. And even though I don't know you, and you've come into my house with a hostile agenda, and you've come here to try and make me look bad, I've I would still, I would still stand up, I would still stand up to protect you. That's exactly right. There we go. I'm glad, dude, I'm glad that Tate is getting personal. I'm glad that Tate is getting personal here. Right? Because this, like, this, because this is, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And a lot of you guys, you know, a lot of you guys are saying that, um, uh, or one, I think one person said they should have just let Matt do it. Nah, fuck him. Dude, Matt betrayed Andrew Tate, man. He betrayed Andrew. Dude, came into his home, ate his food, was actually feeling a genuine connection, then goes and does the hit piece. Ridiculous. Yeah, CJ in the 5.62 says uh, Tate, was <laughs> Tate was going on a 2018 Warriors type 23-2 run. Man, I'm trying to tell you. you. Dude, you remember that third quarter. That third quarter, man. Dude, the Splash Brothers. Mm. I would still stand up to protect you because I believe that's my role as a man. I am asking you about things that you have said that have caused major national organizations, including the police, to worry about you by name. The, That's what I'm asking you it's about. It's not what I said. It's not about whether you protect your partner or not. It's about what you have said that has caused such concern in the UK. And I want to put it to you that you don't really care about the harm it caused. That's not true. Unbelievable. That's not true. Making controversial statements like this online has made you a lot of money. See, okay, so here, we, here we go again. Here, here we go again. When you have exhausted all of your talking points, when you've exhausted all of your talking points, they go to, well, you just do this for the money. <laughs> it's always the move, guys. It's always the move. So first thing, I genuinely am a force for good in the world. You may not understand that yet, but you will eventually. And I genuinely believe I'm acting under the instruction of God to do good things. And I want to make the world a better place. I genuinely believe my legacy is a good legacy. And I believe that eventually, when the legacy media catches up, they're going to understand I'm a good, positive influence. I'm not interested in damaging the world for money. Because if I was interested in damaging the world for money, I could have sold drugs. Or I could make rap music and encourage everyone to stab each other like all the drill artists do. Or you could make controversial statements online that attract a lot of followers who you then direct to your website. I could make, where they pay I could make to joke. learn how I, to be sure, like you. I mean, I could, make, I could make jokes online. Who doesn't? I mean, I could make a joke online. Are you online. saying that all the controversial things you said are jokes? No, I'm saying that these organizations and the BBC are going to sit here and pretend that I am the face of damaging the youth is absolutely garbage. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It and the reason, and the reason... I'm sorry, we have a brief to an interview where you are going to ask questions that are going to give us the opportunity to clarify some things. These are very loaded questions. I'm sorry, and so far, I'm, I'm sorry, I have raised this and I'm talking right now. So, these are very loaded questions and this is not what we discussed and this is not a conversation we were very clear that the questions there, are, are out no. good. We're not here to face new allegations. This has all been discussed. Answers have been provided. So if we could please move on from this side of the interview, I would appreciate it. I would like to hear what Andrew has got to say about the fact that when you make controversial statements. Dude, she's still, dude. She's still, she came there with an agenda. Clearly. I think that's obvious. It attracts people to follow you. And then you direct them to your website where they pay you a monthly fee to learn how to be like you. And so the more controversial statements you make, the more money you get. Well, yes, that's generally how it works. 
Let's take you for example, Lucy. On the BBC website or the BBC News, what's the, what, what's the, what's the slogan? If it bleeds, it leads. Controversy, scandal, hit pieces. Yeah. Yes. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. Everybody makes controversial statements to get eyeballs and eventually money. That doesn't mean we don't believe those controversial statements. See, when she says you're making controversial statements to make money, she's implying that we really don't believe what we talk about over here. But we do. And it is all and it has paid us all very handsomely. It's almost like it's only it's it's funny our detractors act like because we're financially successful then that must mean that we came into this in bad faith no they're just they're just they're just mad that they didn't think of it first they're just mad that they're not as good as we are the fact that that's the path you've outlined to one my online university and two my presence on the internet the fact that you believe that's the path just shows you've done absolutely zero research right? gen path just shows you've done absolutely zero Gen gen genuinely zero research. Okay, so how many of the people who sign up for Hustlers University come to you through your social media? Genuinely zero research. How and many I of the people who sign up for Hustlers University come to you through your social media where you direct them to the website? And Lucy, I encourage you to go out there, do some genuine research, watch my Could videos, my watch, of course, watch my videos at length, and truly understand what I'm doing. How many of the people who sign up for Hustlers This is so funny. This is funny. Yeah, this is this is definitely a hatchet job. I think we I think we've got this. Um, but this is um, but but Andrew, dude, Andrew is not personally advising people. He's not doing this personally. It's Hustlers University. Hustlers University at forty nine ninety nine a month come to you because they see your social media comments. There's an online school called Hustle, have, called Hustlers University, which I don't own. I influence for, along with many other influencers, and they sign up for your website, which I don't own. And you once again, that's once again, once once once, once again, that's nothing to do with me. And you're going to sit here and say that I made a joke. You were the I made a joke online four years ago because a woman said that she owned her man's car, and you made a joke, and that means that you, because you have Bugatti, the most misogynistic, dangerous. There you go. Woman. This is going down a path of absolute insanity. It's not true. None of this is true. I don't hurt people. I don't harm people. I'm genuinely a positive you influence. Um. Miami J says, forget our bias for Andrew. This is the worst interview performance by either party since the, Cur the, the Katie Couric Sarah Palin interview in 08. This girl is not a journalist. She's a glorified blogger at best. Absolutely. Absolutely. You see, the difference between a journalist and bitches like this is that journalists are genuinely interested in the truth. Like, they are genuinely interested in getting the truth and telling the truth. This woman is not interested in the truth. All she's doing, all she's doing is trying to make Andrew look bad. Uh, Benny Franklin with the $10 super chat says, love your live streams, Donovan. Appreciate that very much, my friend. Renowned. I'm, I'm renowned. For offensive and controversial That's not why I'm renowned. I'm actually renowned. I'm actually renowned for helping young men. Because we talk about there's a men's mental health crisis. And we talk about we pretend to care that men are upset. But as soon as I discuss men's issues, it's misogynistic. it's misogynistic. It doesn't have to be gender. Just because I believe men have a point of view and men have rights and men are allowed to think and believe and, and act a certain way that helps them internally, that doesn't mean it's anti-female. In fact, I believe it's actually pro-female. I think when a man is true to his influence and true to his essence, Bingo. He's true within himself, that helps women. He's a positive influence in the world and he's positive for the women around him. Thank Just you. Just because I discuss men's issues, people say, oh, you're anti-woman. I'm not anti-woman, I love women. Why are so many women saying that when their boyfriends start following you, they're not. They experience more control. So many. They experience How many? more abuse. How many? Oh my God. Enough. 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 Well, that's the first time I've heard of it. So in fact- One is too many. Uh, oh, of course, yeah. So of, in fact, I've seen thousands and thousands of comments and have any- And again, Andrew Tate doesn't control anybody. So if these girls are, it, 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 what she just said is 100% fabricated. Like this is just, it, that, 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 that's just not true. That's not true. And, and, and if girls are, if girls are posting this stuff online, it's not true. They're doing it on Reddit, basically egg, egghead accounts. Ever since, it, it, dude, it's guys, it's all a hatchet job. You don't think Reddit picks and chooses their anti versus pro, anti versus pro Andrew Tate. You don't think Reddit just kind of lets these unchecked stories just kind of slide for journalists like her to take it off Reddit and sit here and repeat it as gospels? 
as gospel? Countless emails from women praising does the fact, worry? praising the fact that their sons are listening to me, praising the fact that the husband things I'm saying does not worry. It would worry. It would worry. Concerned about the it would. Wo- it would worry me if I was genuinely damaging the world. But for you to sit here and say, Andrew, you've become the most googled man in the world. You have billions of views, and one woman, one, is now saying that her husband is I'm not the same man she wants him to be. When thousands and thousands of people are saying the opposite. Thank well, you. That's case after case after case with quote after quote after quote of people who are genuinely concerned about the impact you're having and you brush it off as if it's nothing no what you have done is come here with an agenda you've thank you loaded questions you've come here with things take out of context you come here with things that you don't understand are satirical and then you're going to also sit and say that one woman said that her boyfriend changed when he watched one of your videos and and then i don't know what satirical you expect me to say to that that's fantastic and jokes no, that's how you explain no, the comments that, you no, make for you to sit down Would you and like say, to apologize for any of that uh, for you to sit down and for you to sit down, it's fine, no, it's fine, it's easy. For you to sit down and say that one woman said that I'm a- Yeah, his, his, his female advisor back there, it, listen, she's looking out for Tate, and I appreciate that, but Tate's like, no, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Like, this is light work for Andrew. Her boyfriend watched an Andrew Tate video, and now he won't do the dishes. Or, or whatever your, your argument is, and that I'm somehow the worst, most dangerous man in the world because I have a car. It's just disingenuous, and I'm enjoying this interview very much because this shows. Thank you. Shows the world. It's great. It shows the world the truth about the legacy. Yes. They beg me for interviews. They beg me. You have been begging me for months. Please, we need to be relevant. And then you come here with loaded questions, trying to paint a picture of me, which is completely and utterly false. I am a good positive influence for the world. The things I teach men are stoicism, discipline, self-respect, hard work, obeying authority, listening to your fight coach, working hard in school. Making as much money as possible in your job. If you actually watch the things I say, if you actually watch my comments about women, I've done long podcasts for hours long about females, talking about protecting for them, providing for them, how I believe women should be treated in a relationship. I've done oh all of this. God. You don't watch any of it, and then you come here and ask me that, answer questions I've answered at length thousands of times. Yo, this is funny. This is funny as shit. Now I'm going to make another sports analogy. It is almost as though... These two, ba- it's like, okay, there's Team Tate Baseball, then there's Team Lucy Baseball. They get together, they get together, and they they play a baseball game. This interview is as though they somehow made up a rule that every time a hitter comes up from Team Tate, the count starts at 3-1. and one. And for all you baseball nerds out there, we know that 3-1 and one or 3-0 and oh is a hitter's count. Three and uh, three and one is a hitter's count. On three and zero, oh, you're expected to you got you got you, you know you got to make the pitcher throw you a strike, right? A walk's as good as a hit. That's what we all said in little league, right? But it's as though every single batter steps into the box. All right, three balls, one strike, and what comes after that, dude? The pitcher's got to get the ball. He doesn't want to walk the guy. Doesn't want to put him on, so he has to throw something near the strike zone, and it's almost always a fastball. Since you came out of custody. There seems to have been a lot about your charity work. Correct. On your social There's media. All, I've always done the charity work, but now I'm promoting it. There online. seems to be a real shift. Yeah. I wonder what's behind that. Well, I've always done the charity work. I've been doing the charity work for years. I believe that it's my legacy to leave a positive influence on the world, and I've been doing charity work for over five years. Post my incarceration, my unfair, unjust incarceration, may I add. Post that, I've made it more clear the charity work I'm doing. But this is, again, once again, very interesting. I spend $25 million a year feeding children, men, male children, and female children. Oh, I did not know that. $25 million a year feeding children. But he's dangerous. In in Turkey, in Syria, in Iran, in Iraq, I literally spend $25 million a year feeding children. And I'm still the worst man in the world because, because four years ago I made a sarcastic comment. Because some people would look at that and say, okay, so before you got money from attracting people. Oh my your- God. She's going to spin this. <laughs> so she's going to spin this. Well, you're being charitable with blood money. Amen. Hey, hey, look, 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 look. You don't think the cartels, you don't think the cartels are charitable? You don't think drug dealers are charitable? Do you think the communities? Do you think the communities are complaining about it? Oh, we can't accept this. This is dr- this is blood money, right? You think Harlem gave a damn where the the money came from? Bumpy Johnson. They all knew that he was the. the he, they all knew that he was the city's biggest heroin and soon to be biggest cocaine dealer in Harlem. 
And people did not stare down their nose at Bumpy Johnson and say, well, we know you made that money through illegal activity. So we're, no, they accept the charity. But what this woman is going to try to characterize this is you're using blood money. Website by making controversial comments, but that might have got you into trouble. And so now you're looking for a new market, <laughs> looking for a new market of followers who are attracted by a different sort of persona. I've always done the charity work, so that is obviously incorrect, and I have proof that I've always done the charity work, so you're wrong, firstly. I believe that if you have a lot of wealth, you should help people, and I'm helping people. I also think it's very, very interesting that you could not find another celebrity in the UK or anywhere else who's spending 25 million pounds a year feeding children in war-torn countries. I'm doing that, and I've been doing that for a long time without even mentioning it. I never even... And the reason he is mentioning it now, Lucy, is because his name is being drugged through the mud. Yeah, he's got a fucking PR person. That's that's how it's supposed to be. Said it. And now that I've said it, people are going to attack me for it and say that it's disingenuous. There you go. The, the uh, so, oh, this is so funny. This is funny. So, so he says things he doesn't believe to make money online. But then he turns around and he gives $25 million to charity, feeding kids, $25 million a year to, fe to, 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 to feed hungry kids around the world. But that's also an agenda. Give me a break. Person in Sudan who's eating the meal, do you think they believe it's disingenuous? No, I think they, I think they feel pretty good that Andrew Tate fed them. And to sit here and say that I'm a bad person now because I'm manipulating charity, because I'm using charity, I'm just trying to do good in the world. That's all I've ever been trying to do. When women speak out against you online, disagree with what you say, they describe being bombarded with oh threats, my God. threats, trolling. I don't control look man this is dude i hope we don't control what our followers do guys we don't con listen we influence them but we don't control what our followers do number one number two and you guys guys you guys have even seen this from me when i had goose day on when i had kevin ray wilder on i told you guys specifically do not troll do not threaten do not troll or i'll boot you the hell out of here i told you guys that now, this woman is going to sit here and try to, to lay, she's going to try to lay the responsibility of a random anonymous online comment at the feet of Andrew Tate. Jesus Christ. By your followers. Would you like to say anything to your followers about sure. how to behave in that situation? Absolutely correct. I would love to do that. First things first, I've yet to see a female stand up and, and argue with me online. I don't ever see hardly any. The only women who message me agree with me. Secondly, I don't think that anybody who disagrees with me, male or female, should be trolled. I don't think they should be insulted or attacked. I think that Thank you. should be discussed openly and fairly and maturely. It doesn't matter if a man agrees with me or disagrees with me or a female. I don't think my followers should come along and attack her. And if my followers are doing that, I'm upset by that. But let's make a very important clarification. That's not my followers. That's the internet. Thank if you. If you go into any video game lobby, I don't play video games, and someone were to sit there and say something stupid, they would be trolled with similar comments. That's the unfortunate reality of the internet as a whole. Thank That's you. Nothing to do with me. Thank you. That it's the internet. People troll and threaten all the time. But I encourage all of my followers to open to engage in open discourse and be fair and honest and talk in a way which is mature. No He's dunking on her here. She's she's got nowhere to go. Like I don't know how she's gonna spin this. You troll anybody, male or female. Okay. Um, other things. <laughs> <laughs> allegations Don't you think, as the BBC, it would be very interesting to come here and discuss the fact that I was put in a dungeon for 92 days and then locked in house arrest without charge? Don't you think that's a far more interesting conversation than old YouTube snippets? Don't you think that would be interesting? You're here under house arrest because there's an ongoing investigation into rape and human trafficking allegations <laughs> against you. Correct. I've been incarcerated without charge. And don't you think it's been dropped? It has been incarcerated for. 
Correct. So I'm, I'm, I'm incarcerated without charge, and I think that would be a far more interesting conversation than, I guess, Julian Assange is incarcerated without charge. And <laughs> if you right. actually wanted to do some genuine journalism and investigation, we could talk about the fact that an innocent man who has yet to be charged with a crime has had his liberty deprived of him. And I think that would be a far more interesting angle than talking about me being the most dangerous man in the world side of the car. And this question oh, about wow. schools being very worried about your influence. Yeah. Boys in primary school or, you know, boys as young as 11 are quoting you at school, yeah. attacking girls. This is ridiculous. Atta so, so there are 11 year old boys at school attacking girls. That's not happening. Get out of here with that. To respect female if there are boys physically attacking girls at school, that's not Andrew's fault. That's the fault of the parents. That's the fault of the parents. It's not Andrew Tate's fault that he has more of an influence on their children than they do. If your child goes and does something because an influencer because of an influencer, that's not the problem of the influencer. That's the problem of the parents. That's the problem of the parent. Because if that 11-year-old were to go and maybe 187 a student, you think they're coming to arrest Andrew Tate? Uh, no. Sorry. Uh, no. They're arresting the parents. They're not looking at Andrew Tate. The court of law is going to be like, whoa, wait a minute. Pfft, whoa. Like, it's all cutesy online, but, like, this is real shit. Like, your kid did something very badly, and you are their parents. You are going to be held accountable for that. Which, by the way, is exactly why, when you provide, protect, and provision for someone, you need to have a level of, a measure of authority over them to a degree. We're talking about children here. If you're my child, and I gotta feed you, I gotta clothe you, I gotta... Uh, I gotta make sure you you you've got a roof over your head. Make sure you've got food on your food in your belly and clothes on your back. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna have some authority over you because I'm responsible for you. Because as my kid, if you go out, if you go out and commit a crime as a minor, they're coming, dude. They're coming and looking at me. They're gonna look and blame me. Fuck out of here with that, man. Teachers, yeah. would you like to say anything about that? I'd like to say a lot. First things first, as I've repeatedly said, and, I, and the only reason I keep repeat, repeating it is because I'm sure this interview will be edited. I am a positive force of the world, and I teach children discipline. I teach the world discipline, male or female, of any age. And a lot of women listen to me as well. 40% of the people who listen to me are actually female. Secondly, I do understand with my massive influence, and I am now the one of the most influential people on the planet, that I do have to be slightly more careful with things I say. I'm not going to disagree with that. The idea that I said something five years ago on a video that got 300 views. So what do you mean, being slightly more careful? I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. Some of the jokes I made four or five years ago on a YouTube channel that got 300 views, I would no longer make Like I, what? Like the OnlyFans joke, the one you mentioned, repeat. She said, my man's car is my car. And then she said she did OnlyFans. And I said, what do you saw on OnlyFans? She said, my tits. And I said, well, those are your man's tits. As a joke, ha ha ha, everybody laughed. The point, the fact that I could do that on a podcast five years ago and only got 300 views, now I understand I'm the most influential man on the face of the planet. I would be more careful with certain things I say. That doesn't mean the things I originally said were genuinely out of Woo! Really Very good. You're the most influential man on the face of the planet. I'm the most Google person on the planet. Do you believe you're the most influential man on the face of the planet? I'm the most Google man on the planet. I think we're done. fucking bitch yeah look look at andrew look at him smiling look at him smiling dude she said i think we're done i think we're done yeah good good for andrew man he fucking fried this bitch good for him thanks lucy it was enjoyable nice to meet you this is so funny so she is in her feelings she can't stand andrew right now she she doesn't she can't she can't decide whether she wants to kill him or fuck him and Andrew, <laughs> Andrew is trolling her right now. Good to meet you. Nice conversation. Blah, 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 blah. She's not saying a damn thing because she's just way too pissed off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I think that is the perfect way to describe what just happened. I think that's the perfect way to describe what just happened. She rage quit, basically. She said, I think we're done translation i can't stump this guy i can't stump this guy i can't i can't you know wow 
and then she tried to then she tried to dig. Do you think you're the most influential man in the world? She asked him three times. Well, the answer is clearly yes. Yep. Ice Dragon Kid says, if he wasn't, why are you there? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, dude, that wasn't even close. That wasn't even close, man. Like, dude, like, that was ugly. Like, that was ugly. Like, that was not... That was... Dude, That that is as one-sided a, con a conversation as I have ever seen. And now the world... Now the world is going to know. Like, he absolutely flambéed this woman. Jesus Christ. Derek the Trader <clears throat> with the $5 super... Or $10 super... Just says, when I picked up my five-year-old daughter from daycare, there is a boy there who is five and wearing a dress... My daughter said, quote, he wants to be a girl because he thinks girls are better. We need Andrew Tate. I'm trying to tell you, dude. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, 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 Rido, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, with the $2 super chat says, Donovan, I can watch that interview on repeat. Man, he's just too goddamn smart. I think, dude, I, I keep, listen, I'm telling you, I am trying to tell you, he they underestimated his level of intelligence. They really did. They thought that he was using just like slimy debate tactics like Destiny likes to use. No, Andrew just tells the truth. He doesn't allow himself to get he didn't allow he didn't allow himself to get caught up in it. Shane will win with the five dollar super chat says throw the towel, throw the damn towel. Yeah, I need that I need that sound back on my board. Uh, thank you guys very much uh, for tuning in uh, today. Um, I am going to, uh, I am going to. I probably probably need to take Chester for a walk. That's probably why he's getting a little fidgety. But uh, I'm going to walk my dog, uh, check on my flowers, and um, check on my flowers and uh, have a brandy or three. Um, I, I moved my procedure back to Saturday. Was supposed to be today, but I wanted to move it back to Saturday so I didn't miss any live streams or anything. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.